back to another video guys so here i'm showing you and up giving you an update on the onions and if you can see they are bulbing these are the onions i don't know how old are they because i didn't write down the date but they are bulbing some of them are small and some of them are you big the those over there and this one see onions all right so i have sowed some more onions to plant i don't know if i'm going to plant it in this pan in this bed but um i have sowed some more onions so i'm just giving you an update on the onions so i'm going to give you another update on the farm as well all right guys so this is um some i did have this old refrigerator and i planted some carrots in there but it ended up that i wasn't here and worm eat off the all of the carrots them every single one of them they didn't leave no well they leave me with one single one single one this is it here it is that's it but they eat off everything else so what i did was use the space that i have right here and to plant some string beans so these are string beans these are about one week one week old so i am so thankful all of them first some of them died but all of them um, um about you know, that was right here. Three that was right here died. And that's but that's what that was it. What I'm telling you. So I have to give God thanks. This is my string bean bed. Right? So that's my string bean bed. I'm going to give you show you another update. Another project we have going on the school. Alright guys, so this was my color bed, right? So what we are going to do, my husband is going to spread that chapali right there. Expanding the space because I have, I have sold out some pop choy, so we have expanded the space so we can use it to plant um, pop choy and um, callaloo and um, um, anything else that I have to plant in this space. So we have expanded the space, I don't know if you can see it, from all the way down there to up here. And we haven't, we don't, we're not, we're not finished yet filling it up, but we are expanding it so we can have more space to plant more stuff. And if you realize, all of my callaloos have been sold out and have been reaped out, so we are cleaning up the bed and we are going to refresh the dirt with manure and um, um, fresh dirt so we can get more nutrients from the dirt, right? Um, here. My husband lay out this. I don't know why did he lay this out, but he told me that he wanted it to be as big as possible so I can have space to plant what I need to plant. So he was laying out some other wood right here to make another bed. But I told him that these wood are too small. So we are going to get some bigger tree trunks, guys. And um, we are going to make another border and then we are going to fill it up with dirt and use that space to plant something else, right? All right, so over here we have our pots with cabbage. My husband bought me all of these pots. Some of them was bought for my birthday because he knows that I love farming. So he bought me some of them for my birthday and um, he purchased some more of them because I told him that I have a lot of cabbage. If you see the tire over there, guys, still have cabbage in it to plant out. And I have planted out some of the cabbage here already. They um because we are not getting any rain here in St. Mary at the moment. They look droopy, but I'm going to water them this evening. But my cabbages are looking lovely, guys. Um yesterday I planted out um 12 more pots, and I'm going to get more pots to full out. All of that space going up right all of that space up there I'm going to get pots and another piece of cardboard to go all the way to lay it go all the way up there so I can suppress the grass and kill the weeds so I don't have to be weeding 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 right all right um, so let me get closer so you can see the cabbage here they are so those are the cabbages they are looking beautiful guys even though we don't have any rain i make sure i water them every single day and i am not i have not watered them yet so what i'm going to do i'm going to water them but i'm filling up my water drum right there you know so um i'm going to water them 
and those are my tires they are empty those did have color loo in them i rip um rip out the color loose and i'm now i'm cleaning up the tires and i'm going to refill it with dirt and manure to give the dirt more nutrients my daughter raised bed over there needs to be cleaned up so we are going to take out those old tomatoes um stem and we are going to plow up the dirt and weed it out she's going to do that i'm not going to do that my daughter is going to do that so she's going to plow up there and all of that if you look over here this is that era all of this era was where i have my sweet peppers but now um all of my sweet peppers have been grown reaped off i give away a lot i sell a lot and now i'm going to clean up all of this area my husband was giving me a um giving me five days out of work you know he came home take a five days leave to come home just to come assist me in the farm so he was the one who did all of that space yesterday clean out all of that he was the one who laid those um bed down yesterday all of that he was the one who weeded up out up there all of that so i'm so thankful for his assistance because i wanted to pay somebody but we couldn't get anybody so my husband take five days leave to assist me and i'm so thankful for that so um we're going to clean off all of this area weed up the old sweet pepper stems that is here and we are going to plow it up back put some manure in it and re um juvenate the soil rejuvenate the soil um so we can have it to plant um more stuff in here i don't know what i'm going to plant here yet but i know that i'm going to plant over there i'm going to plant corn and tomatoes over there so I have sowed the seeds already for the corn and the tomato. No, for the tomatoes, but not the corn as yet. Um, as I said, I'm going to put my callaloo in that bed and um, pop chai in the rest of this bed. And guys, I have purchased my mesh. So this time with my cabbages, they won't be eaten up so badly um, with white um, diamond back mats because I have purchased my net my mesh so i'm going to when they start to fall i'm going to throw the mesh over it and keep it from the insect the same thing with these cabbages right here so guys please remember to like share and subscribe and i hope that this video is inspiring to inspire you to plant and grow your own food wherever you are and if you realize i'm growing my food my cabbages in pots you can do it too you can use tires you can use um tree trunks you can use old refrigerator you can use stone um to make a raised bed whatever you have and, and use it to make a raised bed so you can plant and grow your own food Please do have yourself a wonderful, wonderful and happy, happy, happy planting. God bless you and thank you for watching the video. Please remember to like, share and subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend and may you enjoy this planting season. Thank you.